I'm scientist Cindy. Let's learn about the pathways of blood from the brain to the heart. Deoxygenated blood from the head drains through the internal and external jugular veins. Deoxygenated blood from the head also travels through the vertebral veins. We'll talk more about those later. Blood from the external jugular veins drain into the subclavian veins. Internal jugular veins join the subclavian veins to form the brachiocephalic veins. The brachiocephalic veins from both the left and right sides of the body drain into the superior vena cava. The superior vena cava brings blood from the upper body to the right atrium of the heart. Remember the vertebral vein? The vertebral veins run through the vertebral foramina of the vertebra. The vertebral veins as the vertebral foramina at C6 of the cervical vertebrae. The vertebral veins lie on a deeper plane between the internal and external jugular veins. The vertebral veins drain into the brachiocephalic veins. The brachiocephalic veins from the left and right sides of the body empty into the superior vena cava. From the superior vena cava, the blood will enter the right atrium of the heart. So let's recap. The right external jugular vein will go to the right subclavian vein. Flavian vein will turn into the right brachiocephalic vein. The right vertebral vein drains into the right brachiocephalic vein. The internal jugular vein becomes part of the brachiocephalic vein. Brachiocephalic veins from both the left and right sides of the body drain into the superior vena cava. Then, the superior vena cava drains into the right atrium of the heart. Thanks for watching. Come visit me at scientistcindy.com. Study happily.